Hey, you want to know what really happened to my hair? Besides the color, the shape of it. It's one of those fact is stranger than fiction things because I didn't do it on purpose. I was actually trying to taper the sides because it was getting too long. It was overlapping my ear and getting in my ear and stuff when I don't have my spikes and stuff in. So I was trying to taper it and this side came out looking really well and the other side <laughs> shaved it right down to voice what it is now. And uh, so I figured you can't put it back so I went ahead and played around with it. That's what I ended up with. Hey Pop, I'm busy right now. Where's your toy? Go play with your toy. Go play with your toy, baby. Anyway, I was gonna wear this. Then I decided to color it and I decided not to wear this anymore. Hold on. Anyway, yeah, I was gonna wear this red do-rag thing. It reminded me of a really interesting story. Believe it or not. So I wanted to tell you this story. It's true. When I was a kid, actually for many years, I used to be visited by extraterrestrials. For real? And the weird thing is, I know them. I know I know these people, but I don't ever remember them. And I know that I made an agreement with them that when I'm not with them, I won't remember anything about them. Weird, right? But it's another one of those fact is stranger than fiction things. Now, anyway, how I'm getting to this thing is uh, when I was a kid, I used to sleep with a red bandana under my pillow to blow my nose on, right? Well, every time when I would be visited by these people and would go with them or wherever, whatever we would do, um, I would wake up in the morning and I would have a memory, right? Immediately of being with them and then as I woke up the memory would just drain away until I couldn't remember squat right and so one morning I woke up and I remembered right and the one thing I remembered was that I had took my red bandana and I had put it someplace and the idea was when I found it it would trigger a memory and I would remember the things that I wasn't supposed to remember Right, so I yanked my pillow up and my bandana was gone. And I still haven't seen that red bandana. I've never seen it to this day. And I'm wondering if maybe they found it and canceled it out because clearly they got a good reason for not letting me remember until the time is right. Or if I really pulled it off and I just haven't seen it yet. And when I do see it, you know, that's just crazy to think like all these memories that have been capped off in your head, what would happen if you suddenly uncapped them and you remembered all of this stuff that you weren't supposed to remember? But yeah, it's crazy. I don't know I sound crazy, but I'm used to people telling me I sound crazy. But it's true. I'm serious. I used to have regular visits by these people all the way up until I met my wife there. Just stopped. I don't know why. But, uh, I do know that I like the people, and that I'm friends with the people. It's not one of those situations where you have bad dreams about being dissected by aliens and things like that. It's not, they're not evil people. Whoever these people are, they've been raising me and teaching me ever since I was a little kid for something important. And uh, I agree with them to not remember what we're doing, unless I'm with them. But apparently, I agreed rather reluctantly. Well, I mean, who wouldn't want to remember, you know? I mean, so I took a risk and I tied that red bandana or something, stuck it somewhere. And uh, when I see it, I guess, I mean, the idea was when I see it, it's going to trigger a memory. So, and that's how my hair got this way. It's actually pretty cool. I like it.